How's it going everybody? Welcome to another episode of First Look. This is the Game Hunter channel. Today I'm going to be playing Secret Ponchos. Yeah, you ever heard about it? <laughs> Developed and published by Switchblade Monkeys Entertainment. This game is still in early stage. Early access actually on Steam, so you can give it a shot. What is... What is Secret Ponchos? Secret Poncho is like a... Spaghetti Wild Wild West shooting game um, with a lot of tension, full of action. This is really interesting. We're gonna probably understand more once that we get into some gameplay. Um, first of all, you need to create your outlaw because in a town full of bandits, only an outlaw with a price on his head will prevail, right? Every outlaw has some special abilities. First, on, uh, primary weapon, secondary weapon, and um, they all have some different bonuses, damage, uh, stamina, speed, re re uh, regeneration, uh, fire rate, and stuff like that, so you gotta find one that is probably according to your uh, game style, okay? So one that we start, we're gonna probably use this, this is the killer, we're gonna use the killer for a few to play and get into a couple of games, okay? So we can enjoy this crazy action spaghetti wild wild west that the game hunter channel bring you um it's still an early stage so i i know that it's a uh, two versus two games domination but it's also uh four versus four that was on trial a couple days ago i don't know how that went it looks like it went okay so let's get into this first game we got the relegate and four killers in the game See the camera is like a top view. I don't know. It's kind of difficult, a little bit difficult to explain. But the control responds very well. It has full uh, uh, control support. With my, I'm playing with my Xbox control right now. Down. Okay. So each team has a certain amount of points that you need to reach. Okay. Every kill give you a point. See, right now it has a. You see, you notice in the middle of this, the screen, the skull is moving in direction of the team that is winning. Okay, so you you really be, need to be careful because you're gonna at the beginning you're gonna have some trouble dominating your control, getting used to it, getting some cover, using the special abilities um, or the secondary. The let's talk about the killer real quick because. We play with that character. The main weapon is a uh, revolver. Um, his first ability is the fanning the hammer, which is like a, a full load of bullets. I think it's probably four bullets that you fire at one second. It's good, but remember, you're gonna be running out of bullets and you need to reload really fast. So I won't recommend you to use that one. <laughs> the most deadly attributes of the ability of the killer is the flying dead. The flying dead is like a it's like a dagger that you throw. The only problem that you have to be accurate in order to hit your enemy. But once you do it you're gonna stun your enemy for a few and also do some nasty damage. And you can travel from corner to corner from the map, right? The maps are different. There's some this one is probably one of the small ones. Nice you see one of the characters is stone. Nice Yes, kill a spree. Damn. You see the flying dead is really com complicated to... Ouch. It's really complicated to master. Because uh, um, right now in my control I have to use my left thumb... Um, thumbstick to, to aim. And then I have to shoot. To, uh, to be quite honest, is probably... Uh, not the most uh, amazing controllers in a game like this, <laughs> but uh, it's uh, kind of you get, just need to get used to it. It's not that, that difficult, but you're probably gonna let's be honest, you're probably gonna suck in the first couple of games. Just don't get frustrated because the game is entertaining. Okay, um, like I said, it's still in, in early access on Steam. I think it's probably 14 bucks right now, if I'm not wrong. To be quite honest, we pl I play this game on on PAX is on Boston. We have a chance to there was a stand playing the 
secret ponchos, and, and the game really catch my attention right away. Number one, nice. I think we won this one. Yes, we did. The more you win, the higher is the bounty over your head, and you win your reputation. Okay, so that's the kind of thing that we're gonna be seeing during the game. Wow, sudden death! God damn it! I thought we win, but uh, okay. So this is the last skill, last skill win the game. Win them all. Gotta be more careful now. I can. Oh my god! The freaking flying hammer got me, killed me. Oh, look at that! Two flying hammers, and I'm almost dead right now. Oh boy! I think my team is gonna. It's gonna suffer. <laughs> oh crap! Damn it! Still, still was a good, good fight. The only problem, like I said, there is not many people playing. So when I was looking at matchmaking, um, this is probably, uh, not probably my third game or something like that. It was uh, really difficult to. I mean, you probably play against the same people. We did okay. Four kills, three deaths. We're probably gonna get into another game just to take a look. See. That's the bonus that you get at the end of the game. Total bounty collect, and now my head is worth 40 bucks, which is really sad. Really, dude? <laughs> I was really hoping for something more. Higher, man. Come on, dude. Really? I deserve a little bit better. <laughs> Alright. Let's get with another game. This time we're going to be playing with the... Kid Red. This is probably one of the most easier ca characters to to learn or to master. Um, first of all, the the primary weapon is a dual pistol, and and it's really deadly in close combat. Plus the fact that you're gonna be doing a lot of damage shooting two pistols at the same time, two weapons. I know you can hear, but the music of this game is what I love the most. That is, the graphics are good. The control a little bit weird. I mean, I'm probably gonna rest some points because it takes a little bit longer to get used to it. But the music is awesome. I feel like I'm playing in a game made by the Quentin Tarantino and Django and Unchained. It is really amazing. I like it a lot. Oh, this guy should be dead. Nice. Damn, I got all the assistance, man. <laughs> Uh, the secondary secondary weapon of the kid red is the dynamite. I just saw me I just throw one of those and it is that that one is deadly and the area of the effect is is big. Oh man, both die. Yeah, man. Oh boy, come on, we were spawning the same area. <laughs> I know this is the same map that we played in the first match, but I just wanted to just show you another quick video. I mean, it was really hard to get into another game, so and the that medium maps size this is a tiny one and there's some big ones like I think it's close to there uh, I don't remember the name of the map to be quite honest it looks like a farm or something it's really cool to play at night or something remember you can cover you can um, cover yourself against the wall and that make you undetected for a few but that's really good in case you want to like uh, create an ambush or something Careful where you throw the you dynamite, you're gonna be in trouble. <laughs> this guy is really, really um, killer, the the kid red. And I recommend you, if you're a new player, this is probably the character you might want to use. A lot of people like to play with a. What was the name of that guy? I'm trying to remember. Uh, uh, hmm. It was a, 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 a character that looks like a skeleton mariachi. I remember it was Poncho or something. And that and that character is, is really cool. I like it a lot. I think it's called Phantom Poncho. But the problem of that guy is that you need to be in close combat because his primary weapon is a shotgun. So if you're not ready to handle that kind of heat, I will probably stay away. I know it's probably the favorite for a lot of people. Um, during this couple of times that I've been playing, I saw a couple of guys with a 
some mad skills playing this game. I'm most of them the way you see that character. Really deadly close range. I think we got this game almost, almost, almost. Dynamite! Yes! <laughs> I think I got it with the dynamite, right? <laughs> oh, that was awesome, man. That was awesome. I know the action is kind of crazy. Um, like I said before, the, the controls are kind of kind of weird. But uh, the the game itself is is really interesting. The music is amazing. You're going to enjoy it if you're a, a big fan of the Wild Wild West. Like I am. Nice. I mean, it wasn't too bad. Let me see my my price. Let me see the price of my head. Because I'm expecting a big boost. Win bonus, okay, 220. Hey! 720A! Hey. God damn it, I'm expensive. <laughs> Alright, guys, this is Kasuya, the Game Hunter channel. Hope you like this video, post your comment, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy, fellas.